Mel, you are just too jangly for this video. Oh, jingle bells rock. Hey guys, it's Reagan and I am home for the holidays, hence why there's a Christmas tree behind me and not my bookshelves. But today I'm filming a very exciting video with Matilda. <laughs> Oh, thanks. And it's gonna be my Christmas book haul. Like most people who like to read, a lot of the gifts I got for Christmas were in fact books because I asked for them. So Santa brought them for me. But like usual, there's a combination of books that I picked up before Christmas because Christmas is on the 25th of the month and I bought books before that. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first book I'm gonna mention is currently the ugliest because I forgot the dust jacket at home because I'm reading it. And I actually got it sent to me for review by Penguin Random, Random House and it is Frozen Tides by Morgan Rhodes. I'll put the picture over it because it's quite a beautiful cover. <laughs> this is the fourth book in the Fallen Kingdoms trilogy, a young adult fantasy series which I adore. I am about halfway through it right now and it's awesome. So yeah, I definitely, I requested this. They sent it to me because they were very nice and they did that. So thank you, Penguin Random House. The next novel I also got sent for review and it is called Cupcakes, Trinkets, and Other Deadly Magic by Megan Sienna Doidge. And this is an ebook currently. Oh my God, Matilda. And this novel was sent to me for review and I'm also working with them for this video. This novel is an urban fantasy novel and it really caught my eye because it just sounds honestly hilarious and just like, the humor that exists in urban fantasy just appeals to my soul. This novel follows our main character Jade and she lives in a small town outside of Vancouver and she basically wants to live a normal life. She has a shop where she sells cupcakes and trinkets and that's kind of what she wants to do. But then she also has another part of her life where she also has magical powers and her town sort of starts turning upside down, which kind of turns her life upside down. And the great thing about this ebook is it's actually free right now on through all major purchasing platforms. So literally, if it sounds interesting to you, you can pick it up for free. Again, this is the first novel in the Dowser Urban Fantasy series. I'm really psyched about it, so that's the next book. The next novel I got for Christmas is The Wise Men's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. I had to ask for this book, obviously, because I read The Name of the Wind and in November and it ended up being my favorite book of the year so this immediately went on my Christmas list and I can't wait to read it a sap because I love it so much and yeah it's giant it's even bigger than the last one it's over a thousand pages long and it's gonna be glory glorious the next book I got I got because Jenny read it this past year and loved it and I saw it as a lightning deal on Amazon so I put it on my Christmas list and got it for Christmas and it is uh, the, Nighting the Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. The reason why this appealed to me, this is a World War II historical fiction novel but it follows two French resistance fighters who are women and who are sisters in this book. It's gotten fantastic reviews, it's like one of the top books of 2015, it's on a lot of lists. I couldn't resist because I love World War II and I love the concept of two kick butt sisters fighting for freedom in France so that's why I asked for this guy. The next two novels are the Perustopia Book Club picks of the month of December. We are working with Penguin Random House this month for a themed Rochelle Mead month. The first book, of course, being Soundless by Rochelle Mead. I have done a review of this on my channel, so if you're interested, I will link that below. But this is a historical fiction novel that's deeply inspired by Chinese folklore. It is a standalone fantasy following our main character, Faye, as she tries to save her village as they're slowly going blind and starving to death. It's a really interesting book. I liked the historical and cultural perspective it had, but again, if you want more of my thoughts, I will leave my review below for you. The next book I have to haul is The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. This is an ARC, an advanced reader copy of her book that's coming out in April, and I'm super pumped for this. This is another first book of a new fantasy series that she's writing, and it combines two amazing historical inspirations together, Elizabethan England and then also like frontier, new world, historical time period, you know, like colonialism, I guess. It follows our main character, Adelaide, as she leaves behind Eliz this Elizabethan society to escape an arranged marriage. She escapes to the new world where there she joins something called the Glittering Court, which is a place that trains young women for marriage and all types of things like that, but I think it has a lot more to it than that. This sounds so fun, and like, I'm pretty sure it's gonna have a killer romance. I can't wait, oh, almost dropped it. Can't wait to dive into this one. Moving back to the books that I got for Christmas, the next one is Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson. I have seen this book all over booktube, and I believe it's a memoir written by Jenny Lawson, and it's basically a funny book 
about horrible things. Uh, she's apparently hilarious, but in this book she talks about her battles with depression and anxiety and kind of how she took the approach about about being furiously happy with life. I am super pumped to read this. I um, I don't know, I just think this would be, I think I'll get a lot out of this personally, just from own personal experiences with those types of things, and I am just excited. Like, this cover is amazing too. Like, I just have heard such great things, and I really am, I'm excited to see what all the hubbub is about. Next up, I have a book I am soup. obviously all these books I'm really excited about because I specifically waited for Christmas to buy them, but the next one is Jim Butcher's newest fantasy novel, and it is The Aeronauts Windlass. And this is the first book to, I believe, his new fantasy series. As a lot of you know, Jim Butcher's Codex Alera series is hands down one of my favorite series I've ever read. I loved it, and that's all that matters. And, um, I actually don't really know what this is about. I believe it's about some societies and some cities that live like in the air in these like covered dome things, but I don't know a lot. I'm hoping it's about pirates too, but I didn't really want to know a lot because I kind of wanted to go in with, I don't know, I kind of wanted to be surprised. Personally, Jim Butcher's fantasy series are like my favorite. I fly through them. I think they're really funny. I think they have fun magic. I'm really excited to get to this very, very soon. Next up, we have another extremely popular book on BookTube. I recently saw Max from Well Done's Books review on this, which finally put me over the edge to get it. And it is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Yes, people, I finally bought this book. And I even got the one with the black pages. I was lucky. I was worried I was too late in the game to get it. But yeah, I didn't like her Grisha trilogy, but I was intrigued to read this because of the plot. It's set in the same world as the Grisha trilogy, which I like because it's a Russian-influenced fantasy world, but instead it follows, I believe, a group of individuals doing a heist type thing, and I am a sucker for like a heist job. I think it's fun, I love thieves, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to like this a lot more than I like the Grisha trilogy. And I know you don't have to read this before you read the Grisha trilogy, like you can read them separately, which is great because I never finished the Crucial Trilogy either, so huzzah! And again, we have another huge book on booktube, and that is Winter by Marissa Meyer. Yay, the fourth and final novel to the Lunar Chronicles series. Matilda. Of course, the Lunar Chronicles series is one of my personal favorites. They are science, science fiction retellings of famous like fairy tales. The first one of course being Cinder and it's a Cinderella retelling. This one is Winter and it is a Snow White retelling. I don't want to say more than that because this is the fourth book of a series. I don't want to spoil you on anything, but I am um, I'm interested to see how this concludes. I've heard some mixed things about this concluding novel, so I'm interested to see where I stand in all of that discussion, but I'm hoping for good things. It is weird. The pages are honestly so thin. As many people have said, I was curious to see how they were myself, but it's like a Bible. And the last book I got for Christmas, but not the last book in this haul, is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Groudon. I got The Wolf City last year for Christmas, which was this author's last book that I read and I really loved. This particular novel has such a cool premise. It's situated in a world uh, where Hitler won, and our main character is partaking in a motorcycle race because a motor the winner of the said motorcycle race gets to meet Hitler. She's partaking in this motorcycle race so she can assassinate Hitler. Yeah, it sounds so cool. And I think this even takes place in Russia a little bit too. I don't know, but it sounds so cool because a motorcycle race because she wants to kill Hitler. Like I don't even know what else I need to say. Like and the last three books I'm going to show in this haul are from Book Outlet. Of course, I will leave my Book Outlet page below, which lists all the books I have bought from there. The first one I got is Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger. I've been meaning to pick up this book for so long. It is about a finishing school that teaches young girls to be spies and like killers and all things like that. I have always loved that type of premise. When I was a little, when I was much younger, I read that spy series, I Tell You I Love You But Then I'd Have to Kill You. And I really, really liked it then, and I feel like this is gonna have a similar feel. So I'm, I don't know. Uh, I'm, the only torn thing is I hear to read Gail Character's adult series before reading this, which makes me a little sad because I just wanted to read this right away, but I picked it up anyway because I couldn't help myself. It was so cheap. The next novel I picked up from there is The Universe Against Alex Woods. I'm not totally sure what this book's about. I've just seen it around for so long and it's gotten very good reviews. It says like an unlike a tale of an unlikely friendship and I believe Alex Woods might be struggling with some sort of um, 
anxiety or depression or something along those lines. Maybe even schizophrenia. I could be making this up, but I feel like he has some sort of um, difficulty that he's facing internally. Um, but I hear it's like really funny and really endearing and intriguing and I really like stories that deal with mental illness because it's just something that I enjoy reading about because I always take a lot from it. So I am hoping this is as good as uh, people say it is on the internet. And the last book I have to show you guys is an exciting one. At least it is for me. And it is The Rook by uh, Daniel O'Malley. This is about spies. <laughs> this is about a main character who's in Her, Her Majesty's supernatural, supernatural Secret Service. So it deals with like fantasy stuff, but they are in fact spies and like, you know, like 007-esque things. I don't really know much more than that, but it is enough for me. Oh my god. Someone says, holy refreshing if you like Harry Potter, Buffy, X-Men, or any assorted series that mixes humor and the supernatural, you'll probably love Rook. I love all those things, so yeah, I got it. Alrighty guys, that is my Christmas book haul. Let me know down below if you got anything exciting for the ho during the holiday season. I would love to know, and I hope everyone has a wonderful time with their family this season, and I will see you all soon with another video soon. Goodbye!